We've had two films from Edgar Wright, the director, mm -hmm. but both of them have been written by Simon Pegg and him together. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm putting them together. Yeah. Um, um, they're very interesting. They're both spoofs. Right. Um, um, and one of them actually you tipped me off to. I wasn't going to see it, and that is Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Um, um, and was delighted. It is a zombie film after Mr. Romero. <laughs> um, um, but here you've got Simon Pegg, who can't get anything done is a loser, yeah. he is um, uh, adrift in um, the contemporary world as a, um, uh, a, a electrical store, yeah, an electrical, electrical store. yeah, like kind of a radio Respected shack. Respected by no one, yeah. but he's also oblivious to the world like so many 20-somethings. He has no idea what's going on and part of the humor of this film to begin with is that the zombies are in the streets um, staggering along yeah. and he doesn't even notice them. Yeah, he, he, actually the way he put it was that uh, you see this movie and you know there's another, there's a better movie going on somewhere else. <laughs> that the, the cameras aren't there, the cameras are with these, these guys who just try to get by. So Right, they try to get by. They live in a typical contemporary situation in, in North America London, yeah. and, um, and England which is room flats right and one of um, um, poor loser Simon's um, roommates is this dult slob who is Nick Frost yeah. um, who forms what you call before the show a, um, a Laurel and Hardy um, comedy team with them and together they confront the, um, um, uh, the zombies finally um, and turn their lives around in doing it mm -hmm. in many ways um, what's so interesting about this film and the other films that they made for me is the little moments of poignancy yeah. and the little visual moments um, in which things are identified in a very, very funny way and um, uh, unexpectedly and the zoom Flash outs and flash the, and, the, and the whip pans too. They're, they're yeah. really they're, the mechanics of, of filmmaking are very. Do you want to get a look, a look at the clip of it, right? Well, we're going to do that when we come back to. Oh, we come back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, anyway, what I was going to say is that um, I think what I love the most about Shaun of the Dead, because I, you know, I like zombies as much as the next guy can take them or leave them. Um, I think that a lot of English movies I've been getting ever since Tony Blair was elected were uh, much more focused on the prosperity. The new London, the better food they've got, the newer skyline, and so what, the Gherkin building, the London Eye. Um, and, and these guys really go back to the more hungover and despondent and small scale uh, side of English life, which is the reason why I love it is because it's a side of life in America and we never get it in our movies. Right. You know, it's supposed to be beautiful people with beautiful problems. And so you, when you see that, you know, the, the squalor of this flat, it, it, it's really like something a person would experience, you know, that, that never somehow never makes it into the cinema. That's, that's very true. Um, um, keep talking because I, I forgot. Oh, sure. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, well another, another point I wanted to make, you know, this, despite the fact that these guys are like a little bit more like Philip Larkin mm -hmm. than they are like George Romero, mm -hmm. um, is, is the uh, affection and attention for the, uh, the, the films they're parodying. Now, Hot Fuzz, I understand they actually went out and uh, interviewed police, you know, like rural policemen mm -hmm. and, and built some of the gags in the film about that. Uh, for example, he said that one thing that the police told them that, that they never would have known is that it's just so much paperwork, so much of the, being a policeman is filling out forms, mm -hmm. and that's why they have the line after after he watches, uh, um, oh yeah, Point Break, saying, "Well, no, deny it's a it's a roller coaster edge in your seat ride," but uh, I think the amount of paperwork they'd have to fill out after something like that would be, yeah. yeah so usually he says they got a yeah, lot of paperwork yeah. to do, especially at the end of the film. 